hey guys welcome back to my channel i am so glad you're here my name is opal and in today's video we are gonna go through some mental like some rules for weight loss or some different i'm not sure what the title is gonna be yet so if you're ready let's go grab a snack and let's get into these different mindsets or different you know, I'm going to figure it out on the, you'll, okay. So this first tip is going to be really for somebody who has more, like I said, than maybe 40 pounds or 30 pounds to lose. The first thing that no one really tells you about going on a weight loss journey or being successful at it rather, is it's really lonely girl. Like it's super lonely. Let me explain. When I was most successful at, when I, when I was losing the most weight, okay or being the most consistent in this journey was when I was in like isolation. I'm not talking about like coronavirus isolation. I'm talking about like self-induced isolation. It was when I was the, le the least social was when I was losing the most weight. Basically what I mean, without like superhuman strength, it's absolutely going to be the most difficult task for you to not have to not engage in social people types of activities. For instance, over the last, I would say six months, I've reconnected with a lot of my old friends, which I am so thankful for and happy for, but it absolutely has made it very difficult to not want to do what they do. And these are girls who are already very slim, who who probably will never ever have to lose over 120 pounds. And yeah, they like to drink. I like to drink and they like to eat. I like to eat too. It's difficult for me to be like, mm, no, nah, I'm okay. I'm not going to get that. But that's what I mean when I say weight loss is very lonely. Okay. If you want to be really successful at weight loss, you're going to have to decrease some of your social movements. That's just a fact. I didn't make it up. The next um, little known fact about losing over 80 pounds is disappointment setbacks they are inevitable my goodness when i first started the journey if somebody would have told me like in three years girl you're gonna be 80 pounds lighter with all that i was going through during that time i'd be like girl disappointment setbacks they are inevitable and they are inevitable baby girl because you're human you are a human person and you're gonna do human person things now there is a little bit of stipulation to that it's very important that you bounce back keep going you mess up keep going you you eat something you shouldn't in the morning get yourself together understand you're a human person doing human person shit and keep it moving. There is just no, I, I, there's just no other way to slice and dice that. Keep it going, okay? Don't feel like such a failure. We, we're all going through that. It's, it's, it's the most inevitable part of a weight loss journey is that you're human and you're gonna make a mistake. And the next uh, little known fact about, this is what they don't tell you about losing weight, is it's more mental than it, it will ever be like a physical thing. Honestly, you cannot lose weight by exercise alone and still eating crap. That's not gonna happen. It just isn't gonna happen, okay? You have to make some changes to like the way you eat in order to see weight loss. With that being said, if you're like me, and you have like this super human connection to food and you love food you eat food when you're happy you eat food when you're sad you eat food when you're bored you eat food when you are just in any kind of state or any emotion or you you crave different foods constantly then you have to understand that it's going to be a mental process that's the mental part of it my suggestion would be to find some way to to channel those emotions and those feelings. For me, it was nature, it's writing, it's you guys, it's YouTube and Instagram. You, I would suggest getting, figuring out some places to, to drop all of that, you know, that heaviness so that you're not just immediately using food, okay? 
that's a big tip and then the next thing that they don't really tell you about losing weight is that it is extremely regimented so if you are not a person that is used to like planning and executing you are going to absolutely need to become a person that plans and executes there's just no way around that none because um with planning with with um regimen comes preparation um you don't want to be caught in a situation where you just don't know what you're gonna eat you don't know what you you need to buy to make this healthy meal that's just not gonna work okay because you're gonna constantly just be making excuses well i didn't have oh i didn't have any food today so i just bought the burger instead or oh i didn't charge my watch so i'll just skip the gym and i'll go tomorrow no you need to be you need to understand that weight loss is regimented you should have your watch charged you should know what you're going to eat whether that be you're going to like do meal prepping and planning yeah that's important so for me the most the one i was the most successful was when i either had an entire list of meals for the week or i was able to meal prep and have my meals ready to go throughout the day. If not, you are kidding yourself, girl. And the fifth and the final, I don't know if I have six, if I said six, because I don't have six. I might have one more, that I, okay. The fifth and final is that weight loss is ongoing. Girl, you need to stop. I would tell you this. It's so funny because when I started the journey and like within the first week, yeah, I've been exercising, I'm eating right, and I step on the scale and it's like a pound off what did you expect to happen did you expect to lose 25 pounds in a week that's not gonna happen understand that weight loss is a process and for somebody like, like people like us who have a lot of weight to lose it's gonna be a long process a continuous process i've been doing this now for three years it's not something that's gonna happen overnight and i think you will be the most successful there are times when you know you just have to be the exception. That's how you get 80 pounds down is by being exceptional. And it's difficult to be exceptional when you're making excuses about what you can achieve. Yes, you can. If you really, really want to be successful, you're not going to be able to go to that party tonight. You just, you're not. My last and final just observation I am engaged to a former college athlete and it's funny because when I when I would tell um, Anthony about how badly I falling off in the last six months and I tell him that you know I think it's because I've just been too social and I've just been drinking and eating he says to me you know as an athlete you can't just isolate yourself. For, I mean, you can, but you it's not going to be very, you can't really isolate yourself from like your peers, the people around you. You, but you, if you really, really want to be successful in the game that's planned for tomorrow, you're not going to be able to go to that party tonight. You just, you're not. And that you have to be okay with that. You know, you have to get to a point where you're okay with if you are able to hang out and be with friends and family. You have to get to a point where you can maybe just have one drink or no drinks and be okay. Or maybe have one slice of cake and just forego the big meal. You need to get into a mind space of, you know, this is what I'm doing. This is most important. That cake can wait. That party can wait. I'm just going to zone out and get focused. All right, so I know that I only have about nine minutes, so let's get to it. That's my I'm giving you tips face. Tips please. <laughs> Alright, let me just do this and then you can you can say it, okay? One minute. Let mommy go and then it's your turn, okay? I just have one thing to say. It is February. 
I'm 195.6 and it's on. So bye guys.